A female prison employee who worked directly with both prisoners at a tailoring shop has been questioned by authorities. She was described as being somewhat cooperative after being interviewed. Authorities trying to determine if she provided cell phones, money or tools to the inmates. But so far police haven't said if she played any role in the escape. What we do know is that the prisoners were allowed extra freedoms for good behavior. It included being part of an honor block where inmates are allowed to go outside every day and congregate together inside in the evenings. Getting in the honor unit was an orchestrated plan. Sometimes in the honor units, what they'll do is, you know me, we overlook certain things. Okay, well, you got the tool back to me later or whatever. A man who claims to have confronted the fugitives in his backyard on the night of the escape talked to ABC News. They were looking around a little bit. As soon as I uh, came across, they ran out of my yard. He went on to say that one of the escapees sported a buzz cut, wore a white t-shirt, and carried what appeared to be a guitar case over his shoulder. 35-year-old David Sweat serving life without parole for killing a police officer in 2002. His accomplice, 49-year-old Richard Madd, serving 25 years to life for beating, killing, and dismembering his boss. The inmates somehow gained access to power tools and cut a hole in their cell. Then they cut through a 24-inch thick brick wall, a 24-inch steel pipe, and then gained access to a city sewer where they removed a manhole outside the prison wall and escaped to freedom.